What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are taking a look at the last epic Manchester United player. We have got Dennis the Menace, Dennis Irwin, absolute legend. Was absolutely honoured to meet and play a bit of ball with Dennis Irwin at an event before. But I digress, just to get that in there. So I do have a bit of a bit of a soft spot for him. Now, I genuinely do think that Dennis Irwin is probably one of the most underrated players in the game. Anyone that I have talked to and kind of shares my opinion on him, that he's just got a beautiful balance between him. Um, you know, he's he's obviously going to be a player that is just... I won't say that he's going to dominate. Like, you know, Roberto Carlos has got, you know, the engine on him. He's got the shooting. He's got the speed, the power. But Dennis Irwin is more of a baller. He's able to play while also being very tigerish in defense as well because of his uh, player skills. So we're going to take a quick look. Then we're going to take a look at his training guides as we usually do. And as you see there, it is based on him when he was 33 years of age. So a little bit of the speed and acceleration are gone. That's obviously to be expected. You know, he wasn't in his prime prime. I'd love to see like a 25-year-old Dennis Orwin here. I think he'd be an absolute monster. He's got a wavering form, which is brilliant. Now, I like the player skills that he has, right? Because he does have interception, which is very nice and an offensive full back. He also has pinpoint crossing, which kind of steers us how we're going to train him up in the ultimate build. And he's also got fighting spirit, which is excellent with acrobatic clearance as well for those kind of long range um, crosses that you need to be in. Now, I am very disappointed that they didn't give him early crosser, right? I definitely think that he should have got that. And I also would have probably given him higher um, uh, or not higher anything. I would have also given him better uh, player skills. I would have definitely given him one touch pass and I probably would have given him a low lofted pass as well. I mean, I think people forget how good Dennis Irwin was. I mean, he was just super, super, super good at everything. Like he was excellent at everything. He was kind of like Roy Keane at left back, obviously without the physicality and stuff, but he never very rarely kind of, you know, put a foot wrong. He was never kind of like had a, had a shocker of a game. Mr. Consistency from what I remember growing up watching him. But anyway, look, we are getting uh, into a loving territory here now with Dennis Irwin. But I genuinely do think that this guy is is worth a, worth um, worth looking at in a little bit more in detail. Right, so we're going to head over to eFootballDB and we're going to show you two versions of him. So the first version is what I consider, with a couple of tweaks, um, depending on your play style, your team setup, your tactics, your formation, your manager, and how good you are at the game. I think it's probably the ultimate version of him that I would go for if you're looking for an offensive build for Arwen, right? We've largely, well, we've completely ignored um, defending, aerial strength, and shooting. So we don't really need him for our free kicks. We're all going to have a better free kick in there. We're not going to waste the points there on the shooting. Even though he's finishing at 70, he can't play anywhere up the pitch. So I think that's a bit of a waste. Um, and it just shows that the players probably need to be a little bit more balanced for eFootball24 that, you know, he's got 70 finishing. When are you ever going to be shooting with your left back compared to other players on your squad? Well, maybe. I mean, if you interchange a lot and flexible uh, team strength or team style or whatever. But we have popped eight into passing because we're going to be getting on the wing. We're going to be bombing up the left side and we're going to be stunning crossing, low loft and crossing, everything that we can do to get the ball into the box with Dennis Irwin. We're going to have 88 lofted pass, which is going to rise, obviously, with the form arrow and give us a little boost on that. That's going to be in the 90 zone. We're also going to have kick and power in the 90 zone. We're going to have stamina in the 90 zone. We're going to have speed, acceleration, balance, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, and low pass all going to be in the mid to high 80s with defense in all the low 80s apart from awareness. So I definitely do think that this is a really good card for an attacking base left back, like a really offensive full back that has got excellent everything, really. Apart from blister and pace, he's a really solid left back. Look, is he a game changer? Is he going to be somebody that you slot into your team and he's going to win you games? Like that's not going to happen because his stats aren't completely meta. Um, You know, he doesn't have blister and acceleration, as I said. But I, I do like his stats, man, with the form arrow, especially that the fact that he's going to have really good stats across the board with good balance, everything is solid. Now, the other version of him that you could go for is a defensive build, which I think, based on his card, is probably the better option to go for if you do spin him because he fits into more systems, right? So we've maxed out his defense with 10 into that, 10 into dexterity, and 10 into lower body, right? We still have a couple of little ones that we're going to pop here. But that is going to give us 88 into tackling and defensive engagement, which means we're going to get the boost to that, as well as the boost to stamina, as well as the boost to speed and acceleration. So stamina, defensive, def our tackling and defensive engagement are going to be in the 90 zone. Uh, with the stats, speed and acceleration are going to be like about 82, 83. 
and then the rest of the stats are going to get a boost as well the dribbling and the passing right it depends on how you want to train him if you aren't going to be running a lot up the wing if you're just going to be using him as a defensive based player then i would definitely maybe take off a few of these um you've more than enough in that if you wanted to go one more defensive to get that aggression up to the 89 zone which would be nice if you wanted to go for that or of course if you wanted to pop four onto aerial strength to get the jump in it's up to you it depends on what you want to do um but i would probably go with the defensive option or else failing that i would probably just uh, max out his uh, offensive awareness and his acceleration to get it up uh, to be balanced with the 80 offensive awareness and 85 defensive awareness now if you are looking to stay free to play as i always do here on the channel lads we give you an alternative if you're playing road to glory as i am doing at the moment i think danilo is a fantastic option if you're looking to have somebody kind of similar to Irwin, but somebody that you can kind of um, upgrade later on in the in the game or in your squad right so danilo can play left or right back which is obviously a must when you're looking at Irwin. he can play both left and right fulls uh, so Danilo can actually play there um, and he can play center back as well defensively he's not going to be as solid this card is um, and some other versions of the cards the center back version of the cards that they release and um, there are better versions of him there there was a player of the week version of him that was extremely good defensive uh, Lee but player skills everything on the standard card is very nice interception uh, he has as well Dennis Irwin uh, has interception and fighting spirit with pinpoint crossing and um, Danilo has the same as well as a couple of more as well speed acceleration um, there's a couple of obviously discrepancies within each card but I definitely think Danilo is well worth looking at and he's an offensive full back there as well so that is it for me lads I will be back quite soon hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and as I keep saying lads look people completely get bogged down they get like they, they, they don't see why they keep re-releasing these cards man look at the pattern of them releasing the cards and re-releasing the cards they are releasing the cards that have been the most popular don't be surprised if you see re-releases of cards that they have released um before you know whether it's epic whether it's big time whether it's you know informed players that are like in the spotlight at the moment i mean at the end of the day you have to look at the business behind it and obviously me as a content creator i'm not interested and i'm not looking for um you know the business side of it like i'm looking for new cards and i'm looking for you know adriana to be dropped i'm looking for you know maybe the likes of shevchenko coming or roy Keane or zidane or Henri. obviously you know as a wish list legends in the future um so i get the frustration of you know re-releasing -re cards trust me i get it um but it's for two reasons as i keep saying it's an entry point for new players to come in if you have a united fan that downloads eFootball 2023 today he's never ever had the chance to spin for erwin schmeichel or van Nistelrooy before so this is a chance for him to jump in straight off and pop 25 quid in to spin as a new uh customer or as a new player to the game and then on top of that if somebody um wants to re if they're release re-releasing these on them as well if konami are looking at it from a business point of view they are re-releasing popular cards cards that you know people uh spun a lot for so that's why that you know they have the same players in the player of the week every week if they're on form and it ties in um you know don't be surprised to see re-releases again but it will be interesting to see how they test it for eFootball 2024. Um, so let me know your thoughts on that. And we will have a bit of a, a discussion on it. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of just, you know, when you think about it and you think about the, re -re the real reason here of it is that, you know, you will still get people that will want, you know, that will have never had the chance to spin for these cards before. Me and you who've been playing the game for the last 12 months plus will have had five, six chances to spin for Pedri, to spin for Dembele, to spin for Patrick Vieira, to spin for Romario but a new customer that's going to download it you know, you know yesterday or going to download it tomorrow or download it in a month's time um you know they might want the same chance to spin for ronaldinho or a mario so what's old content for me and you who've been playing the game for 12 months is brand new content for them so yeah i mean I, I don't know why i have to keep explaining that but it is something that keeps popping up on my live stream so i hope that clears it up that's just my opinion of it and this has a bit been a, a bit of a, a bit of a venture off into our rant territory but let me know your thoughts and I will talk to you in a bit, lads. Let me know your favorite legends that you would like to see come uh, in the future, and I'll talk to you in a bit.